this even working? I have no idea. But we're trying it out. We're trying it out anyway. What's up, folks? We're in VR, I guess. I got this game. Or I don't know if you'd call it a game, but it's a painting app called Vermilion. And it is quite interesting. It's pretty realistic, at least for the current set of VR games available. So I am, uh, I am, I'm just doing some oil, digital oil paintings here. And again, the app's called Vermilion. So I'm going to start with a new painting here. Didn't do that earlier. I should have. Start a new painting. Yes. This is like your little dashboard, I guess you could call it. And you can put it, you can move it around anywhere you want it. So I'm just going to put it up here for now. This is the canvas I want. Uh, you can adjust the size by grabbing the right here. Up, down, left, right. You can make it big. You can make it kind of small. And it has some preset sizes that it will snap to, which is nice. And then once you're ready, you go boop. There you go. You got a little, uh, little canvas there. Pretty cool, huh? All right. So now that we've got that, we're going to, I'm going to adjust the cam or the easel here. So you can move it left to right. You grab this front handle, pull it around. So I'm going to pull it a little bit closer. Then you've got these to adjust the, I don't know what that is, forward and back of it. You can also like, Lean it down if you want. You can lean it up. However you want to do it. Then they've got this guy. You go <laughs> really high if you want to stand and paint. Roll it down. And then I don't know what this switch does, but it's something. Maybe it's the light. I can't really tell, but that's up there. And I think that's all the controls there. You can also move the uh, pallet stand around. If you grab that handle, you can pick it up. Pick up the palette, put it back down. Cool, cool. And then tools here. What do we got? This is the two inch brush. Use that all the time. We got the one inch oval, I believe this is. Yeah. And you can have a bristle or a smooth. I haven't tried out both of them yet, but I'll try them out today. We've got the blender. So this is just blends the paint out, kind of like a hake, hake brush. You can make it bigger or smaller. With the up and down. We've got what is this dagger? You can also make that bigger or smaller. Cool. Make it a little smaller. We got the rag here. That's if you want to clean paint. If you got paint on something, you can clean it up. Palette knife, the best. And this is the what is this? A rigger? Yeah. So this is just a like a script liner basically, but you can make it small or long. However you want it. All right, what's this? Bristle flat or smooth flat? Oh, cool. And you can make that bigger or smaller. Up or down. Left and right changes what, what type of brush it is. Cool. I think this is smooth dagger brush. I guess it's a little bit different than that one, but it's, it's a flat version of that one, which is cool. And they have the bristle and smooth. The round brush, always a classic. Fan, we got a bristle fan, smooth fan. Which one do I like? I don't know yet. And then we've got the one inch filbert or the one inch flat. And I don't think you can change the change the size on this. Yeah, you can change the size on that. It gets bigger or smaller. Cool. Interesting. All right, so those are the tools. What am I going to paint? That's the next question. I'm going to paint, I think I already had this up here. I had Bob Ross up here. I haven't streamed in VR, so if anyone has issues, let me know. I have the, I have the chat in a window here that I can see. I don't think you can see it, but it's over here. All right. There's a, this has an integrated web browser, which is cool. If you want to watch and paint along with like Bob Ross, you can do that. Isn't that cool? Doesn't have any sound though. Oh, now the sound came back. <laughs> and I think the palette is the same one that Bob has. All right. 
Did I explain everything? I don't think I did. Liquid white on the canvas. So let's do that first. So we got two inch brush, white. If we go up here, that'll just be a big blob of white. You can, this thing, I, I don't think I mentioned, this is thinner, so you can kind of dip it in there. And then rub it on here. Oh, you can also make it smaller while you're doing this. So it makes this step easier. You just kind of rub thin white paint everywhere. I think they said that in the video, uh, the guy who made the Vermilion, he made that. He made like a Bob Ross tutorial video. It was pretty fun. Cool. And then you can hit like, you can either wipe the brush out on there to clean it, or you can hit A, I think it is. Yeah, that'll clean it up. And then you can hit Y to reset the palette. So if I just mess everything up, I can do, undo it like that. My cat's tacking a piece of paper there. That's okay. All right, I'm just gonna smooth this out a bit. And this is just applying liquid white kind of like you normally would in Bob Ross painting. Cool, now I'm done, I'll make it big again. And if you hold the right trigger, you can uh, you can change how you're holding the brush. So it'll just change like, if I wanna hold it a little bit towards like that, you can do that a little bit to the left. However you want. Midnight black, Prussian blue. I don't know what color that would be. So I'm going to do black and blue. That looks right, maybe. X strokes. <laughs> we're just we're just throwing color up here for now. Doesn't have to be exact. You can already see some of the texture kind of coming in there. You can blend it out. And it also keeps track of the pressure, how how much you're pressing it and the angle. Which is cool. I don't know if I can make water doing this. But We'll try it out. I haven't actually tried that before. So let's do it. All right. <laughs> oh, this is not going so well. I feel like there might be a better brush for this. And the two and a half inch brush is not, or two inch brush, not two and a half inch. Not cutting it. Or maybe I'm just bad. Oh, that kind of looks okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna fill all this in. You're probably saying this looks terrible. And I think it does. Or I think it does too. I don't really, I haven't done a Bob Ross painting. I did a, who was that with? Robert Warren yesterday, I did one with him. Oh, that went okay. I'm not sure what I did differently. Let's see, I'm gonna use the blender here and just take paint, or flatten all the paint out. I'm just trying to smooth everything. All right, now we can go back to doing this. I don't know if you can apply paint to that blender or not, but. I want to get, <laughs> I'm trying to cover up this corner here and it's not working. All right, there we go. All right. Gotta get rid of that smudge in the middle. There we go. All right, now we can maybe take this and blend it out. I think in the video, he used the rag. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. Also don't know if anybody's watching. I didn't put the viewer count up, or I just only put the chat. <laughs> so if you're in the chat, I can see it, but if you're just watching, I can't. All right, we did that. 
Doesn't look as good as his. Let's see. I think the way we did this was we just scrubbed out this. Something like that. Black and blue. And then use the blender. Something like that. I don't look too bad. That's our, our scene of light. <laughs> I'm just swinging left and right. Make sure all this is flat. Or flattish, I guess. Doesn't have to be perfect. And let's just move this out because we're up here. Looks like a storm cloud. Cool. All right. Say black and blue, same color. Big mean clouds. Mine already look mean. Starting to pick up a lot of the color. I can't really tell how much I have on here. <laughs> like, that's not even sticking at all. Oh, I guess maybe it was just the light. Yeah, that was it. New brush. Oh, this is where he introduces the blender. I got one of those. <laughs> Didn't cost me anything. I'm just blending up with this. This is kind of fun, I don't know. All right, palette knife, titanium white. Oh, I kind of messed this up. I should have put the, uh, I should have mixed the color down to the bottom. All right, let's see. I mean, we could just add more, don't matter. Good enough? Eh. Maybe some more in the middle. And then use the little blender. Make it look stormy. There we go. I'm just making clouds, I guess. I don't really have a plan for this one. Just follow along. Isn't that cool? This is all VR, or virtual stuff. Oh, messed that color up. I don't think I can undo what I did. Yeah, if you clear it, you can't undo it. But, oh, I should mention that. I don't know if I said this. Let's say you screw up really bad. <laughs> Normally, if you do that on a regular canvas, you're, you're, you're SOL. But if you hit the left arrow, you can get rid of it. Isn't that cool? Undo. All right. Let's see. He's using this with a knife. Uh, 
That actually works about the same as a regular pallet knife, which is kind of crazy. There we go. I don't know if I can do that. Is this going to work? Oh, no. <laughs> that didn't work. Let's see. Let's see if we got a brush that can do that. Maybe the fan brush? Bristle fan? Ooh. Yeah, that actually kind of works. I don't I need to practice it, but... Let's try it again. <laughs> oh, this is silly. This is silly. Oh, my computer's trying to save this. Does this even look like rays of sunlight? can't tell. I don't look right. <laughs> uh, I guess it looks okay. All right. <laughs> That's funny looking. Here we go. Crimson, I believe, is this one. Maybe a little bit more crimson. Ooh, doing some mountains. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, and then what do I need to do? I need to pull it. What am I going to pull it with? Two inch brush? Is this going to work? Wow, that actually does work. Was not expecting that. There's like a weird white spot in there though, but whatever. Maybe I use a blender for this. That looks more like a castle than a mountaintop. <laughs> I can fix that though. I don't know what I'm doing there. I do want to fix this. Oh, and I did want to say you can put you can put paint down here too if you have nice colors that you like, and you can. I think this is like a squeegee. Yeah. Cleans it up. You can swipe it left and right. I'll leave this color down there because I use that a lot. All right. Whoops. Hello again, Nate. You entered the world. I didn't know it existed. Yeah. What's up, Crispy? I'm doing VR, VR painting. It's really crazy and works surprisingly well. I didn't expect, I didn't expect it to work this well. Oh, we got to do mountain highlights. And I've done these with this before, and they actually, uh, whoever, the guy who made the game did a really good job with this, making the palette knife stuff work. I'm just touching up the edge because I didn't like it. Now I've ruined it. It's ruined. Nah, that looks okay. Skylancer, what's up? <laughs> hey guys. Agnarok. What VR brand do you have? I have this is a quest. 
Maybe, yeah, it's quest two. All right, we're going to use white, I think. We're going to try and highlight with this. Who knows how it's going to go. Let's do it. Let's let's try and do this. <laughs> that didn't go so well. We'll try again. It it's almost I mean it's not the same as doing it with a regular palette knife. Nope, that one didn't go on right. But it is similar. I wouldn't say it's an exact exactly the same as highlighting with a regular palette knife, but it is the same pressure, which is interesting. All right. <laughs> it's crazy. The little tiny peak back here. I don't know if I can highlight that. Oh yeah, we can. Cool. No pressure. What color is that? Blue? Blue and white? I can do that. All right. Blue. Did I add that color? Yeah, I put that color down, so I'll reset the palette. Blue. White. Oh, not enough. Just let's do a massive amount of white. Is that too much? That's way too much. That doesn't even look blue. It looks gray to me. Maybe I'll use this and some white. That looks more to it. More more similar to what he's using, I think. Maybe not. <laughs> this is so silly. Oh my goodness. What do you think? Should we cover this whole thing up? Should we just go all the way to the left? I feel like I should. He went right through it, so maybe I will. Let's do it. Let's just extend. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's so it's like eerily similar to actual painting. I don't I don't like it. I don't like how similar it is because I'm not actually holding anything. I'm not pressing anything on the canvas. It's freaking me out. That's weird. That's so weird. You earned a new reward item for your home. I don't know what that means, but thanks, Oculus. All right, I don't know if this part's going to work. Oh, hello, cat. Thanks again. I definitely have too much paint there, but we'll try it. We'll try it. Try and blend up. Can I ask why you're using pink for the mountains? I honestly didn't know it was pink. <laughs> I can't tell what colors I'm using here. Just trying to blend out the bottom. I don't know how else. I guess I could try using the two inch. This might work. Uh, it's kind of smearing a little bit. Can I tap it? <laughs> oh, it's a disaster. You know what? I don't like any of that. I don't like any of that. There's no undo button for this. Just got to redo it. 
It is a lot harder to do this though, I will say. Doing anything really if this is harder because there's no feedback. I feel like I messed up over here. Whoops, not that. There's supposed to be something here and I messed it up. Just make it like a fake hill over there. Oh, this is hard. This is hard, guys. Way different than regular oil painting, but similar. It's a very weird experience. Ah, we'll fix it. We'll fix it later. We'll fix it later. I'm not worried about it. That's not working. What is happening there? Oh, there we go. All right, now we should be able to blend this to the left. Did that work? <laughs> Does Nate have one stream per week? Uh, I changed the schedule to Fridays and Sundays. So I'm going to try to do Friday and Sunday, but we'll see. All right, now I go back to this. All right, now I'm getting into like piddling phase. I need to stop piddling. Let's just keep going. Two ranges. Oh no. I wasn't ready for this. I wonder if you can scrape paint off. Is that a thing? No. <laughs> All right, you can't scrape paint off. That's really annoying. Well, you kind of can. I can see it getting flatter. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, interesting. It's not really, uh, not really highlighting, but or removing anything, but. All right. My hand's really shaky for some reason, too. I have no idea what's going on over here. <laughs> what's happening there? Normally, I would scrape this, but I can't. <laughs> Frustrating. All right. I can't beat the devil out of it, no. I can, <laughs> I mean, I can hit it on this. I don't know if that counts. It's very hard to control this. Oh, whoops. Whoa, whoa. My cat's attacking a piece of paper back here. This is a very dark mountain. <laughs> this is silly. This is silly. All right, he's highlighting that one. We can do that. We can do highlights. Yeah, he's just doing the whole thing. Let's see. Wish my hand wasn't so shaky. Normally I'm standing and aiming down and you can kind of rest your hand on the palette or the easel, but this is, you just, my hands is, I wish I had a camera on me because you could see like how stupid this looks. <laughs> it's just goofy looking. He's 
these ones are kind of shadows, I guess. I want to make this one a little bit brighter, but I don't know if I can. Oh, yeah, I can. There we go. There we go. Stuff's happening there. Oh, he's tapping on it. I don't know if I can do that. This is so stupid. <laughs> oh, VR. What a time to be alive. True that. Do I want to try and blend it again? I don't really want to. If I do, it's just going to smear. Oh, wait, did I do the shadow? Did you do the shadow? Am I behind? Oh, yeah, he did. Oh, well, we got that shadow color there still. <laughs> All right, here we go. Why is that so thick? Why is it? <laughs> Let's undo that. That is not right. There we go. Yeah, not too bad. I did one yesterday, it was a Robert Warren painting, and that came out a lot better than the way this one's going. I don't know if that's just the painting like Bob, or if his style is more suited to it, because he used the flat brush a lot more. Or Robert Warren used a flat brush more, and I don't think Bob ever used a flat brush in any of his episodes. Whoops. All right, if I can just grab the right thing for once. <laughs> there we go. I don't know if this is the right effect or not. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Good enough. Good enough. I've tried this doing this before and this does not work very well doing the doing this brush and going just kind of disappears doesn't do anything maybe another brush does it better let's try this one <laughs> nope <laughs> nope I mean, that's kind of what we're going for. Let's see if we can lift up. Eh. Kinda. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's gotta be a better, oh, I'm using the wrong brush for this, I think. That's obnoxious. Get out of here, ads. Nobody likes you. All right. <laughs> this, this is pretty hard. I'm not going to lie. Maybe it just takes practice, but I'm not doing so good with it. It looks really sick. Thanks, Crispy. But I will say, if you haven't painted before and you want to try painting before you actually do it, this might this might be a good way because... You can do other stuff with the headset. I'm gonna try this one. Like, it's not like with painting when you buy it, if you buy an easel and all the paints and stuff, and you're kinda, you can't use that for anything else unless you want like scrap wood or something, but. But with this, you could do other stuff with the VR. Oh, he did shadows. Tough, 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 tough. Let's see. We go into white. This is not going to work, but I'm going to try it anyway. <laughs> nope. Uh, maybe this one. This one's flatter. It might work better. Nope. I'm sure one of these will work. Sometimes I use the white version. I forget soft bristle and it works a little bit better. 
Uh, that's better. If I <laughs> if I had steady hands, it would work. <laughs> oh my goodness. I need someone to hold my hand while I'm doing this. Or like an arm brace or something. I completely missed over there. That's not good. <laughs> I think what I can do is I can use this for like the base paint and then I can use the bristle one to blend it. Oh my goodness, look how shaky I am. Did I even eat dinner? Is that the problem? Oh, now it's completely ruined. <laughs> oh my gosh. Does this work? Oh yeah, that does kind of work. A little bit. It's a little wonky looking. Is that thunder? Oh, that was in the game. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> this is silly. VR is silly. I wonder if this one would help at all. Oh, that one actually does work a little bit better. I'm not even going to attempt the liquid white here. <laughs> it's just going to be a disaster. I don't really know what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to throw in color in the spot because it looked really empty. You know what? We can put a tree in there later. That usually helps. In the video, the guy, I don't like that. He used the, um, what did he use? He used the palette knife with no paint. And he did water lines like that. So maybe I'll try that. We can undo it if we don't like it. How that? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of working. If my hand was not terribly shaky. goodness I don't like that I'm undoing those but this one wasn't too bad it just looks really weird I don't know kind of just want to blend everything out and start over got like a vortex going on there in the middle I'd like to see how you're playing that game in your VR. Yeah, it would look, <laughs> it's very weird looking. If you could see like actual hands, oh, it's just goofy. All right, did I mix those colors? Blue, black, brown. Is that brown? Is that red? No idea. Red. Let's put this down here. Fan brush, evergreen. Oh no, I don't know how this is gonna go. He's going over it. Oh, this is gonna be a disaster. This isn't gonna work at all, is it? Let's try it. Let's try and put a tree. Where did he put it? Right here. This is not going to work. Oh, <laughs> step one. <laughs> we've, we've completed step one. Now let's try and I'm going to move like as far up on this brush as possible. <laughs> it's working. Insert the Anakin GIF or GIF. You know what? They actually have this feature. Let's see if we can. Do we want to cheat? I'm going to cheat. 
Cheat mode activated. <laughs> we just throw another layer on here. Yeah. Yeah. Now there's no mixing. <laughs> we just throw it. All I did was add a layer, so this is literally going on top of everything. <laughs> no blending at all. Awesome. Bob would be upset, though. <laughs> That's silly. It's crazy how he, they wrote the game where, like, these bristles actually, like, bend. Like, the way you would expect a fan brush to bend, it's actually doing it. That's crazy. Whoever coded this is a, a really good. This is all very dark too. I might need to lighten it up. I can add highlights though, that'll fix it. I can't have lonely trees out here, that's no good. Put one there, one there. Oh, I can make this bigger, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm out here with the small brush. I got a big one. All right, we got a few trees. We got to do some reflections. I don't know if reflections are going to work. That might not work at all. Actually, I kind of like the smaller one now. Change my mind. Down here, I don't think it matters much. So we're just filling it in. Maybe one more. You want one over there? Sure. A hey, big one. Do a giant tree up there. <laughs> this is silly. This is so silly. I'm just kind of like punching. This is a workout. I'm starting to sweat. Crazy. Oh, we got to do the reflections. I have no idea how this is going to work. I'm just gonna fill this in here. Oh, he's got a big one over there. All right, let's see. What should we use? Blender, blender brush. Let's give it a shot. All right, here we go. I'm just pulling straight down. It kind of works the same. Looks like a reflection. I got a weird outline though. I don't know what that's about. Kind of looks cool though. It's got like a highlight on it. Cool. Pan brush. Uh, I don't want to cover up that mountain though. It looks kind of nice. What do you guys think? Maybe we can make it start here.
add a second little tree there. Maybe I'll do that. A little tiny one. So it's pretty cool though. I like the fan brush on it. And I'm not a fan of the two and a half inch or two two inch brush. I keep saying two and a half inch. I'm just used to Bill Alexander's stuff. Titanium white, liquid white. Thin it down. Prussian blue. Put that paint down there so I can clean this up. All right, we got to highlight them. Moment of truth. We can use thinner. I th what did I just hit? I hit something. Oh, I hit the palette. That's okay. You can dip it in a little bit of thinner. Not sure what this is going to do, though. We'll try it and see if it works. Well, not bad. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing down there. I mean, the controller vibrates a little bit, so you can tell if you've got, if you're touching the thinner. I'm just going to try it without thinner and see what happens. I don't know if I like that better or worse. Actually, I kind of like it a little bit better. And in the tutorial, they say that the thinner actually does change stuff. Like it makes thin paint stick to a thick paint, which is cool. All right. I'm just looking around. Pretty big room. It's a chair, random chair. <laughs> All right, let's finish these highlights. My cat's climbing on boxes. I wish you guys could see what she's doing. She's making a lot of noise. She's ripping on something. I'm just trying to roughly aim for where I was, where I had made this, these branches. I have no idea if they're actually hitting it or not. It kind of looks like it is a little bit. All right. I think we got those. All right, we're gonna use that blue. Oh, he went down there. some snow I'm not sure if I can get more of this to go on if I apply more pressure no not really I wonder if I use the more of a ooh that actually did it more pressure here doesn't make it highlight better but more angle like if I angle it flat and then, yeah look at that Some nice little peninsula here. I'm going to redo this one because it didn't look right. Okay, I'm doing some little highlights here. 
I don't know if this will work, but I'm going to try it. <laughs> not quite, not really working. Is that doing anything? Maybe I just had too much. I don't know. That might be. <laughs> That's definitely too much. This is way different than using a regular. I wonder if this one would work better. A little bit, a little bit different. Hmm. Don't let the breast slide. I kind of like this one better, Filbert, one inch Filbert. Wonder if making it thinner would help. No, that wouldn't help at all. That would just make it weird. I don't know how else to make these. I'm just kind of smacking at random. Oh, he's going to make a cabin. Oh, geez. I don't know if I can even, do I even want to attempt to make a cabin with this? Is that going to work at all? I'm just kind of blending this bottom out. I don't know. I thought it looked a little weird. Where should I put the cabin? What do you guys think? Am I right? Right here? Or over here? That worked better. Hidden it like like this. That works a little bit better. All right. I might put it over here. Can we scrape paint? I, don't know. I think I already said I can't. Are we going to do a rag? Cleaning rag? Or we could do a new layer, I guess. Not sure. Not sure. I could just try to do it without any of that. I'm going to reset this. Too much. Mixing color for me is very hard, so this game... I wish it would tell me what, like... Paint lost. That ain't cool. All right. Well, that was weird. Did I lose anybody? Next, next time I need to turn on a light before I try to do this. Oh, geez. Pay no mind to the man behind the mirror. I'm just going to put it over here. 
This is this is not going to work at all, probably. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. New layer. Actually, we don't want to do that. I've never tried to do a, a cabin with this type of knife before. I always use the like Bob or Bill brand ones that are shaped like actual knives. Cabin's getting bigger. <laughs> All right, let's just try it. <laughs> yeah. Not too bad. Oh, now it's way worse. Let's get rid of that. If you soak the rag in uh, minerals, uh, whatever it is, thinner, you can actually erase things, which is cool. We can actually erase this part that we don't like. All right. goofy that work oh we gotta make boards on it there we go all right home free almost There's that thunder again. That's in the game though. I don't know why it's not flattening out, but. Oh well. Kind of a cabin. I'm going to throw a window on here and call it a night. Or a door. Oh, my hand is so shaky. There's a, <laughs> there's a door. Here's a window. Maybe another window. And then, well, see, he added some bushes, so I can add some. I'll use this. I haven't used this one yet. Smooth? No, we don't want to use that color. That's terrible. That's terrible. I just deleted my windows and I added them back, so it's okay. Is it doing anything? Making it more opaque. I don't know. That's good. Yeah, I don't like that. Don't like that. I mean, we could, we could just add another layer, I guess. Oh, I'm going to lose it, aren't I? 
Next time we gotta remember to turn on the light. That's no good. Imagine Bob Ross alive and he plays a VR game and watches you on TV. <laughs> yeah. I don't think any of them like could they even imagine this? Like <laughs> how goofy this is? <laughs> Bob Ross would probably he'd probably see it happening. I feel like I need some other brush here. Let's just see what happens with this. Maybe a little blue. I think, I don't know if any of you have seen the, in the Bill Alexander documentary, he actually talked about like computers running the, or eventually running the world. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. All right, I'm going to stop messing with this. I'm going to go back. How can I go back? I'm losing my controller here. What layer was this? Two? Yeah, all right. Well. I'm just going to smooth this out a bit and then call it a day. Because I've gone too far. Technology is going too far with this one. <laughs> I'm just trying to make it look like a snowbank or something, you know. Cool. Are we done? I think so. I'm going to sign it before I mess it up anymore. One thing about my signature is it's easy on any medium. Anybody can copy and <laughs> use my signature. <laughs> Got to work on the numbers a bit. And we can do that one more time. All right. <laughs> oh, geez. All right, let's see. Oh, what was it? I think if you go to save, yeah, you can actually export these. So you can save them and then go to share, gallery, and you can change the resolution. Pretty cool. You can export as a 3D model. I think I showed uh, Agnarok that one. It was pretty cool. Export it. Nice. Can I share it? I thought there was like a share button. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe that's only on the Oculus. But yeah, there we go. There's the painting. This is the app. Vermilion. It's twenty dollars, which can well plus the headset, but compared to regular regular paint stuff, it's actually pretty cheap, and it is pretty similar. I will say that. So. Cool. All right, everybody. Do you stream only on Twitch right now? Uh, I also stream on YouTube. I think it's also it's Paint by Nate as well. The um, yeah, it should be linked on my Twitch page. If it's not, um, let me know and I'll update it. There should be a YouTube link on there. But yeah, I stream on YouTube and on Sundays. I do restream to Twitch. YouTube and Twitter. So it's like a triple triple stream, which is pretty cool. There's higher latency on that though. I think I'll keep the <laughs> this VR thing for Twitch. This seems like I don't know if anybody well maybe people would want to watch it. I don't know. On YouTube or whatever. But yeah. Oh yeah, you watch me on YouTube. That's cool. All right. Yeah, I do enjoy YouTube more just because it seems like people find my stuff easier on there on twitch it's kind of like uh, if there's a lot of viewers then people can see you but yeah all right uh let's see i think with that i'm gonna i'm gonna wind the stream t stream down <laughs> uh i'll be back sunday cyber bob unlocked <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're now bob ross in the metaverse it's pretty cool. It's fun though. I like I mean I can do I can do probably three or four of these types of paintings a day 
uh, without ever leaving this chair, <laughs> which is kind of crazy. But uh, I might have to change the batteries at some point in the hands. But yeah, how to escape? <laughs> Good question. Uh, I'm just waving my hands around trying to find it. All right, there it is. There's the button. All right, everybody. Crispy Chokate. Thanks for joining. Agnarok, Skylancer, all appreciated. Uh, I'll see you maybe Sunday. Uh, if not, I'll be around next Friday probably streaming for you. So cheers, everybody. Take care. Have a good, have a good weekend.